Well, YouTube, we got an update on the uh, the 96 Camry I bought earlier this year. Uh, it's been about, I don't know, three months since I bought the car for $125. And uh, turned out the transmission was totally and completely destroyed. I opened it up, there was uh, bits of metal and stuff in there. It was, wasn't worth rebuilding. So I sat and waited and looked at pick and pull sites for the longest time. Uh, they kept getting in uh, the next generation, which would have been 97 and up. And those transmissions, the engines and transmissions can be put in a 96 to 92 Camry, but there's electrical things and, you know, you might as well put in what belongs in there, right? So I waited and waited and waited and uh, ended up finding just two days ago, I found this guy. It's a uh, really bad shape. Uh, 400,000 kilometers, but it's got a, a rebuilt engine in it that has about 100 and, or sorry, 225,000 on it. Uh, it's not very pretty uh, compared to the other one, for sure. Um, the guy I got it off of said that uh, he put a brand new radiator in it, and then they went and got gas, and then it just wouldn't start. Um, he didn't seem very mechanical to me, so I'm going to check to see if it's got spark. I got, I'm got. i kind of wondering if it's uh, an ignition problem. He's got this thing torn apart on the inside, like the, the steering columns taken apart. And he's got the ignition on the ground, and the window was broken. Somebody stole the battery out of it. Uh, it's got some... I don't know what that is. That looks like something fell in the car and they dragged it off. It's got some creases in the hood... Uh, Maybe he backed under something? I don't know. Uh, the bumper's split on, in two places. It's pretty... It's pretty bad. Like, I got... It's it's really bad. So, I'm going to pull the transmission out of it. I got a fellow um, I've been in contact with who says he can rebuild the transmission. Did come with good tires, though. Pretty happy about that. So, for 100 bucks, uh, if all else fails, at least I got a set of tires. And I think those will fit on my, uh, my Mazda MPV. But uh, yeah, definitely a parts car. Hundred bucks. I should be able to get a hundred bucks worth of parts out of it, and then I'll send the rest off to to China to become microwaves. But uh, apparently, it had a decent stereo in it. But somebody stole the faceplate. I don't know why they would do that. Uh, engine's not in bad shape here. Let's, no, I can't even open the door to pop the hood because the the door hits the fenders on the trailer. But anyways. That's the update for now. It's uh, it's getting pretty cold. I don't know if you can see that. I can see my breath. I uh, we'll see if I can get that transmission out of this one rebuilt, and then the uh, the gold one, which is just over there in the yard, before the snow flies. If not, man, I don't really want to be doing this when it's like minus 15 outside. So we'll see what happens. Uh, might end up finishing this in the spring. I'm gonna take this. Uh, over to my friend's place, which is just down the road here, and drop it in his yard. He's kind enough to let me uh, keep it in his yard. And then uh, let's go take a look at the other one. The good one. It's been sitting over here for a few months. Uh, it's a lot better shape uh, body-wise. could probably use a paint job, and I'll probably give it one. I don't know if I'll stick with the same color or not, but we'll see. But yeah, uh, we'll get the transmission out of the the blue one. We'll put it in the I guess you would call the champagne after it's rebuilt, and we'll we'll go from there and see what happens. All right, I'll uh, I'll make another update video when there's more progress made.